A mirror could be much more than that, trust me. It is sad to think of the mirror as just a homeware tool to check how beautiful you want to be, to just see your reflection in the least interesting way. A mirror is that device that could lead you with reality neglected us. This artwork is composed by light and the worst Baroquian turmoil. It is mirror and paint. 60 strips which form six panels. An unbreakable object that you can't divide. It works as one entity. My dear told me I designed a jewel. It feels like I want to wear it, being lightened and blinded by those goldish play of light. This artwork is the brightest penetrant joy and the darkest baroque turmoil. These are synced in a performative visual. It brings light into a space. It doesn't want to feel constraints of a frame. It doesn't want to you to reflect your image. It wants you to wear it. It wants you to feel it. In our society, mirrors are tools of vanity, which is a bit of a shame if we think of the powerful meaning that this device had in the history of art as a tool for creating illusions rather than reflections. A mirror could create a fourth dimension. The dimension of dreams, the dimension of the unexpected. You can't predict how the mirror is going to affect your space. You can't predict how this sculpture is going to move you through it. I just feel sorry to see all these beautiful reflecting objects in our houses with their most interesting power lost. My dear told me I designed a jewel. It feels like I want to wear it, being lightened and blinded by those goldish play of light. Sixty strips together form an entity. One of those entities you can't fucking break, no matter how hard you try. They need to exist as one piece. I'm here to protect it. I named this artwork my first hall of mirrors, which implies it won't be the last.